How you doing? This is Tom and this is Tom's Rodeo Room Show and I unboxed my MFJ telescopic vertical antenna that uh, MFJ sent me for a review and I'm going to initially in this video show you the components that comes with the antenna. Now right here of course is this is the telescopic piece it's a heavy fiberglass it extends just like a my fishing pole that I've showed you it extends um, in a telescopic manner to 31 feet down here is the ground radials they're bundled up now you uh, unbundle those and attach it to the transformer box here is the actual antenna wire itself here is a little contraption so that you can spool this wire on this when it, the antenna is not in use. This antenna is I wouldn't say it is a permanent antenna. It's more of a portable antenna that you can take to a site, set it up very quickly, uh, use the antenna and then take it back down. I wouldn't, especially in Florida, I wouldn't leave this out all the time. So I ha one of the things I'm going to have to consider when I set this up is putting it someplace that I can take it up and um, put it away when I'm not using it. I'll probably, you know, I'll probably, when I'm going, when I know I'm going to use it for a while, I'll leave it up for a week or so while I'm using it. But I don't think I want to leave it outside. It doesn't really say anything about that, but just my inclination okay in this box here this is and let me step in front of the camera here this is the matching transformer right here and it's a uh, bound and it's good from 40 to 6 meters they have another version that's yeah, basically the same thing except the bound I believe is different and it's good up to 80 meters instead of 40 meters. The instructions say that this is set up so that you don't need a ground, you just need to use these radials, which are, well, it said they were insulated, but they're not insulated, <laughs> so forget that. Um, and it's, it's matched for 40 meters, you don't need a, um, an antenna, antenna tuner box to match it for the other frequencies. But if you want to use it on the other frequencies, what they suggest you do is actually ground the system, ground this box here as a ground lug, and then use an antenna tuner if you're going to transmit. These, uh, these are the various parts to actually mount this tube to another pipe or post or whatever that you're going to attach the antenna to. So they give you all the hardware that's needed to do this. And it's kind of a double ring where one, one ring goes around the pole that you're you have in the ground to mount it to and the other ring goes around the antenna itself. Again, this extends to 31 feet. So at the top of the antenna will be 31 feet high or maybe a little more because you're going to have it attached to a pole. So that's all the pieces. I will be assembling this in the next day or so. It's, it appears to be simple enough that I can do this myself and I don't have to ask my neighbor to help me. In other words, it's pretty light. This telescopic pole is pretty light. You just set it down on the ground and you start extending all the sections. And I got a couple of places I might put it again for temporary use. And I can show you one of those real quick. Actually, I can show both the two of the places. And the thing is, I, I the trees have over the years have really overgrown, so I'm limited on where I can put things. So let me. Uh, Take the camera off the tripod here, which is a no-no, of course. And I will try to show you around. Okay, there is a nice convenient pole right there. Very strong. It's in 
like three feet of concrete so it's not going anywhere and then this is the side of my garage which where all my antennas go in that window right there so that'll be nice and convenient there's my antenna that I just did a review of right there actually you can't see it from this angle let me go around the corner here there it is and that's an in-fed antenna with a ballum there that little box has a transformer in it similar to what this antenna has it's a basically the same design See if I can open this box again so that's the transformer right there again it doesn't look like this box is sealed so again I don't think you want to leave this out in the weather okay the other place I'm thinking about putting it is right over here there's another pole uh, there's a piece of wood that I bought that I thought I might use if I put it somewhere else in the yard and then there's on my fence is a pole I think I might be able to mount to I've cleaned the, the shrubbery out around that but the problem with that one is I somehow got to get over to there so either I've got to have the coax up above ground or I've got to put the coax down there on the sidewalk so that's the plan right now uh, it does not this this kit does not come with any coax cable so you have to provide your own coax cable it does this this box right here does have a PL259 uh, or SO239 connector so they can use standard coax with the PL259 I hope I got those numbers right uh, cables so that's what we're going to do um, and we'll see how this thing works if it works this will be a great little setup again I don't think this is permanent I think this is temporary they also sell um, like I said before, they sell one that's good up to 80 meters, or down to 80 meters, however you want to say it. And they also sell just the telescopic poles. So you can get telescopic poles and add your own configuration for antenna. And I uh, think they, they, those go all the way up to 43 feet. So that's another option. Uh, you can also, they sell a tripod that this thing will mount into and again it makes it even easier to set up and take down take to the field take to your local park so you can listen to shortwave so that's the show for today if you enjoyed the show please give me a thumbs up thanks for subscribing i we're finally getting to that 6,000 subscribers and i appreciate everybody that has subscribed bye-bye